People are trapped in their homes and have been for now more than five days because the streets are not plowed. The snow has now accumulated up to about nine feet. We need help. People are trapped in their homes. They cannot get medicine, heart medicine, insulin. The stories could go on and on. Please, we beg you. We need help from the state. Are you listening? Yeah, are you listening? That's a woman in Lake Arrowhead, California, pleading for help. Uh, you heard her. She's stuck several feet, nine feet in some cases, of snow and running out of supplies. She's begging the state of California to come through soon, uh, not just for herself, but also for her friends, her neighbors throughout her community. Michelle Calkins is with us now to share your story. Uh, Michelle, I want to check in with you. First of all, how are you doing? Do you have an update on the circumstances out there right now? So much better today. Hi. Hi. <laughs> The sun is out, so I think it just gives everybody a big sigh of relief. Fantastic. How long have you been stuck up there, and are you hearing from state officials on a plan to maybe get you out or get supplies to you all if you need them? Uh, I've been here since the beginning of it, so I don't even know. I think day nine or ten. I've mm. honestly lost count, but the great news is, yes, we heard the National Guard is on the way, so thank God. I just That is just going to make so many people feel so much better about getting out of their houses. Yeah, no kidding. Lake Arrowhead is just a beautiful community. I spent a lot of time up there. Do you live there permanently or were you there visiting and then just got stuck in the storm? No, I live here permanently. I've been here over 18 years, so we were very prepared for this, mm -hmm. but uh, Mother Nature gave us a different round that we weren't expecting. Yeah, no kidding. It just keeps adding up. At last count, I heard you say about nine feet. Do you think that's still what you're seeing out there? I think it's like eight, mm -hmm. <laughs> but the drifts have definitely, yeah. it just, everything is just kind of a blur. You really can't even tell unless you're here. That is so tough. What about the roads? Are you guys able to get around to help each other out and check on neighbors if you need to? Nope. And I'm still house locked here. I went down to check my street and it's still, I've got about two feet on my road where most people have over probably five feet of snow on the roads and cannot get out. Yikes. Power. Do you guys have power? And then do you still have supplies that you might need? Medical supplies, food supplies? Uh, thankfully, most of us on the mountain have had power. I know there are a bunch without power in Crestline. Mm. Um, so that has been very warming. Uh, food supplies running low or people are out. Medical supplies. We've definitely heard stories where people have had to make emergency runs to risk getting off the mountain and getting back up, et cetera. Yeah, no kidding. Also, you think about people who maybe need insulin, whatever they need, medication. Uh, also, pets. A lot of people up there have pets, and you go up there with your pets. How's the community feeling uh, as far as taking care of each other and their pets? Yeah, so many people were stuck off the mountain when this really hit us, and so they were not able to get home mm. to their pets that were indoors for over four days. Um, mothers just with their children home alone while their husbands are off the mountain working and just overwhelming. And uh, the local, honestly, we had a, a emergency hotline number that we were told to call in case of an absolute emergency regarding food or medical. And when we were calling that number, people were being told that help is not on the way, that they cannot do anything about it. So the locals are the ones who have actually stepped up and are trekking through feet of snow to get any supplies they can to people in need. Well, be careful. It is a beautiful part of the country, and Lake Arrowhead's fantastic. I know all of San Bernardino Mountains has been hit hard in Southern California. Michelle, good to see the sun out behind you. We're with you every step of the way, and uh, we'll follow up, and, and, and hopefully we'll get the National Guard out there earlier, like you said, and we'll check in with you again. Thanks so much for your time. Be safe out there. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.